Today we finish Leviticus with a statement that could be considered God's signature. These are the commands that the Lord gave. Chapter 27, verse 34. These are the commands that the Lord gave through Moses on Mount Sinai for the Israelites. In this last chapter of Leviticus, God deals with the valuation of things that are given to the Lord. The people could make a vow to the Lord and give their servants, their children, or even themselves to the service of the Lord. And throughout Exodus and Leviticus, we have seen that the law was for one purpose, and that was to point to the perfect sacrifice that lived a perfect, sinless life, and that was Jesus Christ. All of the sacrifices that they were taught to offer were insufficient for the purpose of wiping away the sinfulness of man. God's true desire for his people was that they love him with all of their heart, their soul, their mind, and strength. And in that love, they would obey him, follow him, listen to him, and in turn, they would treat others the way that God treated them with grace and mercy. You see, God's desire for his people is to love like him, to be the image of God. And here, he finishes Leviticus with the tithe. Now understand the tithe isn't a New Testament principle. There's one precept in the New Testament for giving, and that's to give as one may prosper. Here's the deal. This is more than about giving, it's about generosity. God calls us to be generous people who reflect Him in this world. And think about the generosity of God, the gospel. God gave His all to rescue us from our sinful plight so that we might be His, and those who are His reflect who He is. And just one of those ways is by being a generous, cheerful giver. That's it. These are the commands that the Lord gave through Moses on Mount Sinai for the Israelites. The words here simply and elegantly close out the book of Leviticus. Leviticus shows us that something more was needed than the law itself. This beautiful, marvelous treasure of 27 chapters was given to lead us to a better understanding that we need Jesus. And so before we depart today, getting ready for a new adventure and another book of the Bible tomorrow, let me tell you about Jesus. And he's so very important to your life. The Lord has you right now exactly where he wants you. He has a good plan and purpose for you. And even if you have a lifetime of sin heaped up behind you, He can wash it away and purify you completely and wholly. So today, follow Him and trust Him, and He will do marvelous things for you and through you.